And this is, oh! What a nail! As Jonathan Bostick gets separated, Mike Willie from the football. All right, you already know what it is. It's fourth quarter boys sports. I am the illustrious one, Professor Lake. And uh, what we're doing this fine Sunday morning is we're jumping into the review of the Chicago Bears 2019 draft class. I'm going to take a quick look just to see what we got. But before we do, you know what I do right around this time. It's fourth quarter boys sports. I am the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Yeah. Be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell for me. Get notified every time I upload, all right? So, you know, I think draft day is something that every diehard Bear fan uh, looks forward to just to see what new additions are going to be a part of our uh, storied franchise. And uh, again, you know, the first round we didn't have a pick, the second round we didn't have to pick. Uh, we had to wait all the way until the third round, the second day of the NFL draft before we even um, got a guy. So I'm, I'm pretty satisfied with the moves that Ryan Pace made. He's a guy that I've learned to trust. He's a guy that I've learned uh, will throw a curveball, but you got to trust Ryan Pace. I mean, he knows these guys better than a lot of the fans and analysts and other uh, ex-football players that's out there making their comments and opinions. Uh, Ryan Pace really does have the pulse of the scouting scene. And, uh, you know, he really has these guys working and finding diamonds in the rough in later rounds. And, you know, as we move along, I think that's what you'll see happen on uh, this year's 2019 NFL Draft class for the Chicago Bears. Again, no first-round pick, no second-round pick. We get to the third round. Um, we're about 13 picks away from the 87th pick. And the Chicago Bears trade up. They trade up about 13 and to 13 or 14 picks uh, with the New England Patriots. And most people thought that they were going to pick up Daryl Henderson. Uh, no. Like I said, Ryan Pace is known for throwing curveballs. Uh, Ryan Pace selects David Montgomery out of Iowa State. Uh, with that third round pick uh, he did trade up for him so that lets you know um, how much that the Bears and Pace and Matt Nagy coveted this player's talent what I like about Dave Montgomery is that uh, he makes tacklers miss um, he has soft hands he's quick uh, again he's pretty elusive in the open field something that our former running back Jordan Howard uh, left fans wanting for um, he has vision behind the line of scrimmage. You know, a lot of times you'll see him being patient, setting up his blocks, and then all of a sudden he'll make his cut and uh, get to the second level. So he's an explosive back. A lot of people are going to say that he reminds uh, them of Kareem Hunt, and I can understand why uh, with the body style. I think that Kareem Hunt may have a little more top-end speed, but uh, as far as quickness goes, David Montgomery, he's pretty good in between uh, the tackles. Also, he's a guy that uh, just seems to exude good character. He just seems like a good guy, a hard worker. He's humble. And more than anything, I think that's the reason why Ryan Pace chose to get David Montgomery. Uh, again, a lot of it has to do with his character. I think uh, these are the type of ball players that the Chicago Bears uh, continually bring into the franchise year after year after year good character players uh, humble and they're willing to work and compete so overall you know I'm, I'm liking the pick David Montgomery out of Iowa State um, we needed a running back after shipping Jordan Howard to the Philadelphia Eagles and hey you know um, this is definitely an upgrade again going into the fourth round Ryan Pace throws another curveball uh, drafting a wide receiver with the with the wide receiver group that I guess a lot of people already thought was pretty stacked in talent. Uh, you know, Ryan Pace is not afraid to add more talent to it. So in the fourth round, the uh, 126th pick overall, the Chicago Bears select Riley Ridley, wide receiver out of Georgia. 
you know, just listen to some of the comments that Ryan Pace made after the draft was concluded. Uh, he'll tell you that he was the best available player on the board, and that's why they had to get him. Some of the things that are, are said about Riley Ridley are that uh, he has a good catch radius, pretty decent size at six foot three. Um, his route running ability is supreme compared to a lot of the other wide receivers in this year's draft. What I like about him is that he played against, you know, big time competition. And, you know, that's just something that you don't get out of every ball player you draft. Um, but he's played against the best cornerbacks in the SEC. You know, uh, they went up head to head against uh, LSU and he had to go against Greedy Williams and he ate him alive. So that says a lot about Riley Ridley. Um, Greedy Williams is, is a first round draft pick, arguably one of the best cornerbacks coming out this season. Okay. Um, again, he's six foot three, 200 pounds. He scored nine touchdowns last year. His statistics won't jump off the charts to you, won't really move you like that. But uh, when it comes to big games, he was able to outshine his brother uh, about a year ago in the national championship game. You know, his stats were just better. And, uh, you know, he has a promising future and a lot of upside. So I'm really looking forward to what Matt Nagy is going to do with uh, Riley Weirdly, uh, where he fits in in this depth chart. I do think that he will get some playing time this year. I think it's a good pick. You know, definitely not necessarily an area of need, but uh, he's definitely making this wide receiver room more talented and uh, stronger in the long run. And I like Riley Ridley as well, just uh, athletically and, and size-wise. So then we move to the sixth round. In the sixth round, uh, the Chicago Bears and Ryan Pace uh, draft safety Duke Shelley. Duke Shelley. And, you know, these guys that, that you pick up in these later rounds are, are players that you might not have ever heard of. But I guarantee if you check out their tape, uh, you'll be thoroughly impressed uh, by the homework that Ryan Pace was able to put in and finding some of these guys. Now, when you look at Duke Shelley, what's going to jump out the tape is that this guy is incredibly athletic. Uh, he could run with any wide receiver. Um, he attacks the ball at his high point. I mean, he has incredible leaping ability at that. An aggressive tackler, willing tackler. You know, all the things that you look for in the cornerback, this guy is actually doing. Now, I will say that Duke Shelley is a little undersized. I think that he is about 5'8", 198 pounds. But when I tell you he's like the Steve Smith of, uh, of cornerbacks, I mean, this guy will light you up. He will take the ball and uh, go coast to coast with it. He will match up with some of the bigger, taller, wide receivers and uh, not allow any catches so I'm liking Duke Shelley I look at him like a nickelback and I think that's what a lot of other teams were looking at him as as well um, how do I see him fitting into the Bears roster I look at him being a, a special teams ace a guy that uh, definitely pin uh, offenses down in between the 15 and the 5 yard line because so I think he has great speed and good tackling ability and you know Ryan Pace keeps drafting good high character guys, humble guys that are going to work hard, uh, regardless of where they are on the depth chart. Uh, these guys want to see themselves on the field. And that's how I look at Duke Shelley, just a guy that's going to contribute in special teams, and he'll be a quality depth piece in the secondary. So I'm liking Duke Shelley. Uh, again, you know, Ryan Pace is throwing curveballs left and right. He's not going to pick the guy you expect him to pick. But when you do your homework and you look at what Ryan Pace is trying to do, uh, you're going to be pleased uh, with the decision making uh, that he has going for this franchise. So again, you know, curveballs left and right in the seventh round. We're almost done. We didn't have that many picks this year. But in the seventh round, Ryan Pace picks another running back. Another running back. Um, this guy is from Florida Atlantic. His name is Kareth White. He ran the 40-yard dash in 4.38 seconds. You know, I looked at his tape. You know, he at least had two kickoff returns while he was in college that I saw. In the backfield, he's explosive. He's a home run hitter. He's the type of guy that could take it the distance and outrun cornerbacks uh, in the process. 
He's 5'10", 200 pounds. Last season, he had eight rushing touchdowns and uh, two passing touchdowns. He ran the ball in tandem with uh, Devin Singletary, and I think that took away from some of his production. And honestly, you know, when you look at these guys side by side, uh, the more explosive back is Kareth White, and we were able to pick him up in the seventh round. You know, he's another guy that's going to add a lot of value um, as far as talent-wise to this draft. Um, I look at him as a special teams returner. I think that uh, he'll be the, you know, I'm starting to call the Tariq Cohen style of running back a, a flex running back. So I think he'll be the flex running back, too, for the Chicago Bears behind Tariq Cohen uh, coming into this 2019 season. Again, when you look at his tape, what's going to jump out to you is speed, 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 speed. You know, when he comes out the backfield, it looks like a bullet from a gun. Hats off to Ryan Pace. Another pick, another guy that no one was even thinking about the Bears drafting. And again, you know, Ryan Pace is going to throw you off as he uses the media. Uh, he keeps his draft choices secret. You're never going to know which direction he's going to go. All you could do is talk about it, guess about it. I guarantee you, you don't know which way that Ryan Pace wants to go with his draft picks. But in the seventh round, when we got Kareth White, I'm like, who is this guy? I check him out. Why do we need another running back? And when you put on his tape, you understand why Ryan Pace picks a guy like this in the seventh round. A guy that's definitely going to get us some touchdowns uh, while we play special teams. Uh, seems to be a decent backup uh, behind a guy like Tariq Cohen. Same type of quickness. He may be faster than Tariq Cohen. He may be faster. Maybe faster. But definitely someone... Um, that adds quality depth to this offense. And um, in case somebody goes down, you got somebody that's just as explosive right behind them. So the last pick of the 2019 NFL Draft, Chicago Bears ended up picking Steven Denmark. Steven Denmark out of Valdosta State. And so, you know, the theme of this, this draft is Ryan Pace throws curveballs. Again, you know, he goes to the smaller schools, um, there's not much on the board towards the end of this draft, but this guy is notorious for finding diamonds in the rough. And Steven Denmark, first of all, he's a cornerback. He's six foot four, 220 pounds. I don't know the last time I've seen a cornerback that big, but when you turn on this guy's tape, uh, granted, this is Valdosta State, but this cornerback, Steven Denmark, is dominating the competition the way you expect an NFL player to dominate the competition. I mean, you know, this guy is is pushing receivers out of bounds. I mean, he's, you know, he has some real fluid hips. Normally, when you look at a guy that, that's that tall, uh, you don't think of him as being agile. This guy is agile. He, had, he can flip his hips. Uh, he could run fast. He could run with any receiver out there. At the seventh seventh round pick, I definitely think it's somebody you want to you know give a chance to. He had eight tackles for a loss last season, three interceptions, one touchdown, uh, one sack, one forced fumble, and uh, 55 tackles overall. When I looked at his tape, what jumped out to me was that he's a great tackler. Uh, he has good hips and coverage. He has a lot of potential and upside. You know, he only played corner for one year. I mean, you see a guy six foot four, 220 pounds, move the way Steven Denmark is moving. Uh, you got to take a chance to see what you could do with him. You got to take that chance. So that's what we got, man. Um, I'm going to recover it real quick. Uh, David Montgomery, running back from Iowa State. Riley Ridley, wide receiver from Georgia. Duke Shelley, defensive back out of Kansas State. Kareth White. Running back slash returner, Florida Atlantic, and uh, Steven Denmark, a ridiculous cornerback from Valdosta State. So, uh, look, I'm telling you guys, you know, just check out the film. I'm sure you'll be impressed. I know you haven't heard of a lot of these guys that the Bears drafted this season, maybe outside of uh, Riley Ridley. I know you haven't heard of any of these other guys. I know you haven't. But, um, Check out the, the highlight tape. Check out some of the game film. And 
again, I think you really will be impressed uh, with Ryan Pace and the homework that he does and um, why he's adding these type of players uh, to the Chicago Bears franchise. So let me know what you think in the comment section. You already know what it is. This is when the game really begins for for the Chicago Bears. It's off season now. We finally know who's going to be in camp, and uh, we're about to find out where this roller coaster is going to go. All right. So, that in mind, we're going to go ahead and wrap this one up. You already know what it is. It's fourth quarter boy sports. I'm the illustrious one, Professor Lake. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 subscribe. Chill. Be a fourth quarter boy for life. Hit that notification bell. Holla at your boy. I'm gone. Yes. And this is, oh, what a nail! As Jonathan Bostic gets separated, Mike Willie from the football.